We are once again in Windows Server 2016, and let's take a look at how to create a primary zone, but a non-Active Directory primary zone. In a previous video, I showed you how to create the Active Directory one, but now we're going to do it a little bit different. So let's go ahead in our DNS Manager and right-click on the Forward Lookup Zone. So now we're going to choose a new zone. And then we're going to get a wizard that pops up. We'll go ahead and click Next. So now we're going to see our three options, Primary, Secondary, and Stub Zone. So what we're going to do is instead of uh, clicking Next, we're going to uncheck the Store the Zone in Active Directory. So what that does is it only makes the zone available in this one server. It does not replicate to other servers. It doesn't mean it can't replicate. It's just not replicating by default. So let's go ahead and click Next and we'll put in our zone and we'll just call this non ad zone and we'll give it a dot internal and let's go ahead and choose next and next and we have an option to do either secure or non uh, non secure and secure dynamic updates or do not allow dynamic updates at all let's go ahead and leave it checked to do not allow dynamic updates because we want this to be something that is uh, manually done at a later time. Let's go ahead and click Finish. And there is our non-Active Directory primary zone. So if we want to double check that, we can right click and go to Properties. And we can see that it, the status is running, the type is primary. We can click on Change, and you can see that the store and Active Directory is not clicked. So why would we want to even have this type of zone? Well, if, it's, if this is for a domain that's not for Active Directory, but we want this particular server to be in charge of this zone, then this is what the uh, type of zone that we want to create. So let's say you have a website, and your website in your company, your taking care of the DNS management for that. You're not having an outside company like Network Solutions or GoDaddy or anybody else. You're doing it right here in your office. And so you create a primary zone for that website. Now your website is not typically go going to have the exact same name as your Active Directory site. So that way you have a website with one zone and you have Active D Directory with a different zone name. So that's why you'd want to create a non-Active Directory primary zone. Let's go ahead and click OK. So we can right click and choose New Host, and we can put in things like www, and we can put in the IP address. It can be both in internal or external, depending on where you're hosting it. And we'll go ahead and click Add Host. Now, if we add a host with nothing in the name, that means that anything that anybody clicks uh, for that domain will automatically go there. So let's go ahead and give that same address and click Add Host. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So let's pull up a command prompt. And we're not going to be able to ping these, but we will be able to do the name resolution. So it'll give you an idea what's going on. So if I ping, say I'm a web user, www.nonadzone.internal, then I see that I get this 15.120 address. So it worked. But let's say I don't want to put in www because nobody really does that anymore, right? So let's go ahead and cancel that. And let's ping the same thing but without the Ws. And I should get the exact same resolution because I added a wild card in there. And sure enough, I do. So there we go. So that's how you create a primary zone in Windows Server 2016 and make it non-Active Directory integrated.